somewhere a group of people gathers trying to awaken their master. All right, so we have not awakened any other enemies. You can't run from combat. This one seems easy, so we can just do Thak Atarasu again. The towering eye is fun because it's Sandal's core, but both your damage and enemies is increased. This could be... I mean, this kind of just balances itself out too, though. That's the issue. You can't run from combat. The scary thing about this is if we encounter any ghosts, because then I'm just like, fucked. Resting increases doom penalty. Yeah, I hate that. Casting spells, costing reason increases doom instead. Hmm. I'm surprised we still haven't unlocked more of these. Like, it feels like the unlock rate for them is really low. Uh, all right. Let's see, what do we want? Do we want Athelazith or do we want Kthak Atarasu? I don't really cast spells very much. I'm not really using them. So. All right, casting spells raises doom instead of its normal cost. Hunted by the cult. Character exclusive perk cards. Library notes, use. Book of Gore. Free reason and stamina. Casting this doesn't cause reason. Plus three reason and stamina, one random injury. Don't need to worry about that. Etho to flame. All right, these are gonna be things that we're just gonna, um, we're basically just gonna ignore. Hunted by the cult. You've managed to run from them once, but the cult is tireless. Solving mysteries reduces more doom, but you get more unique combat encounters. Actually, that actually makes, that synergizes really well. We have a really good opportunity there. My home, all right. We haven't unlocked more of these yet, have we? Seaside, illegal den, we have, okay. Lots of different things. Okay, so we are, we're starting to unlock more things, cool. Confirm and continue. Someone has crammed your mailbox full of animal entrails. Why would it, why would they do that? It's not very nice. Lempty bottle, yay, all right. Gamer girl bath water. Uh, experience boost straight off the bat. All right, let's read all of these. Household hell, moonlit, moonlight sailors, beckoning bulletin, rancid ramen, evolving eels. I just really don't wanna do. Ooh, there's a new one that had zero, but I didn't want to. All right, perilous parable of peculiar painting. Freaky feature of found footage. Get another opportunity at that. Blood curtain botanist. Violent vigil. Thaumaturgy teacher. Okay. Hey, this is pretty good. This is a pretty solid set. Um, what do we want to do? Let's do Perilous Parable of the Peculiar Painting. Damn looking letter addressed to you arrived this morning. Mamiya Ichiro, a famous painter you were once a huge fan of, has replied to a message you sent him last summer. He thanked you for the letter and invited you to his mansion. We were going to witness the creation of his true masterpiece, he wrote. Just how could you decline? Oh, we're, we're, this is, a, this is a, 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 another special one where you're only in a certain spot. <clears throat> you, managed to, uh, you finally arrived at the mansion's gate. You are afraid you will never be able to remove the lingering, musty smell of the wetlands from your clothes. Now where is everyone? He's so cute. I love sandals. Hyena Gemma says, uh, is it the painter from Sweet Home? Uh, it might be. Is Ichiro Mamiya the name of uh, that character? I don't remember. It's been almost, what, 20 years since I played Sweet Home? Jeez. I played it whenever the very, very first patch came out for it, which I feel like was in like 2004. It looks like one of the previous owners of this mansion liked to read. Dusty tomes reach the ceiling. You don't have much time, but maybe you could spare a minute to look through the books. Check out the table. Knowledge check success. The notes lying on the table look like the ramblings of a madman, but you can see a method to their madness. All right. <clears throat> Is it going to rain? Oh, interesting. Continue your search. 
While walking through the empty mansion, you can hear something rustling in the bushes behind the trees. Mansion foyer. Oh, this won't advance the mystery. Cool. The round window of the Crooked Manor Tower is calling to you. You feel your strength drain away. Stare into the bright light. You gain one reason. Blinding light is growing larger and larger to your shock. You can't feel the ground under your feet. All right. Start climbing the temple. Ooh, needs an empty container. Uh, all right. Start climbing the temple. Empty container. Um, I guess I should have grabbed this for the empty container, but it's fine. It's just a potion. Start climbing the temple. You spend like what feels like days climbing the stone blocks, reaching the top. You're rewarded with an impossible vista of countless pyramids and beings too big to comprehend. Something in you breaks. Oh, right, well, we guess we healed. So either way, it would have just been. So that's like a healing encounter. And we get to choose if we want reason increased or stamina increased, or if we have an empty container, we can do both. That's easy. That's easily understood. While walking through the empty mansion, you can hear something rustling in the bushes behind the building. You discover an old campsite located at the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. Uh, search the tent. Minus two stamina. Bummer. Sleeping bag has been torn to shreds. The amount of gore inside leaves no doubt about what happened to the owner. That's fine. Kill that. Painting studio, forest. Move the cursor around to look around the room. I have to move it around here? What the heck? Crouch down and press your head against the locked door. Trying to look around the room. Am I gonna be screwed? It's too dark to, you can barely make out shapes. You can find a way to turn on the lights. What? Is this just glitched? Why can't I? What does this do? Is that it? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Glance around. Um, are they hiding something? Minus two reason. Great. Their investigation can wait. Hot bath is too inviting. Take a bath. Heck yeah. All of them show alien landscapes and weird humanoids dancing around in circles. Don't recognize any of them, but the technique used is unmistakable. Ichiro-san painted these. Boarded up building advances the mystery. Let's check the workshop first. Some distance, even from the main building, there's an old work shed. Even though the surroundings are now overgrown, it is a, in its heyday. It must have been used to store gardening equipment. Inside's really dark. You don't have time to search. Grab a flashlight. Find a toolkit by the door. A flashlight seems to be the best choice, but a sudden crash coming from the mansion distracts you from further investigating the shed. There are countless paintings hung on the walls of this mansion. All of them show alien landscapes. Blah, blah, Ichiro-san painted these. Painting studio. Can I use the flashlight? All right, I can't use the flashlight there. Boarded up building advances the mystery. Suddenly a wall before you withers and falls apart, revealing a whole ridden monstrosity. Whole ridden thing. These early combat encounters are rough. There we go. Finally, you find a key in one of the desk drawers. Your head, uh, you head towards the private rooms, hoping to find the painter himself. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Every visible surface of the room you enter is, in, is covered in obscene paintings and grotesque monster faces. In the middle of the room, you spot Ichiro-san, repeatedly stabbing Amy and splattering her blood over the empty canvas. Ichiro-san smiles when he notices you. Ah, my biggest fan! I can't let you know my secret! Alright, Ichiro-san, minus three stamina. Might die. This is... Uh, pretty brutal. There we go. Minus one stamina. I think I'm dead. 
Yep. As you rush to save Amy, you notice something terrifying. All the grotesque painted monsters begin to leave their canvases. Local scientists are baffled by the arcane storm. Reason spells increase by one. I thought I was dead if I dropped below one stamina. That's weird. Take a bath, fill the gamer girl bath water, drink it up, give it some slurp. All right, nothing new there. Exit. Tragic tale of the thaumaturgy teacher. Robin says, don't say gamer girl bath water. I'm, but that's what's happening. Sandals is in the bath and we're drinking the, the bath water. Uh, let's see. Three key feature of found footage again, I guess. Investigate this mystery. Uh, we're gonna go to downtown. We're gonna go to the occult shop. Thankfully, our ritual dagger is right there. That is super important. Um, we are also going to rest a lot because that helps us big time. Crimson says, do you want to spoil the ending of this one? I have gotten the other two. I've gotten endings B and C. How do I get ending A? How's that work? I can probably sacrifice 18% there. That's probably fine. I'm just preparing to cost doom to enter. Pick up a wooden bat. Okay, we'll sell that because I don't need it. You need specific item that is very unrelated. Okay. What item do I need? Do I find it just by shopping for it? Camera. Cigarettes, maps, salt. I do want to buy the camera because I feel like that might be useful. And it is something that we we needed before. It's in the occult shop. Oh, okay. Is it the glass eye? Because I've done that with the holy candles before. I've been there with the holy candles. Crimson says, can I spoil? Yes, feel free to spoil. One time use only. It's acid. Oh, okay. Wait, is that in the occult shop? I thought that was in the hardware store. I'm probably going to lose to re-rolling this. <laughs> Oops, well... We have a huge amount there. Let's see, hardware shop. Pro bar flashlight, restock. Can of acid, yeah, it was in the hardware store. Well, we just increased ourselves to 68%, so that's not good, but it's fine. We'll decrease the doom. Um, It'll be okay, I'm not worried about it. We don't equip it, we just have it on us. All right, uh, travel to school. We'll just speed run this one. Ooh, take a sample of the sludge, nice. Deals extra damage when thrown. All right, resolve this event. So we know what that does. Investigate downtown. 69% doom, nice. Uh, checks wounds for clues. It didn't tear out his throat, but instead carved an occult symbol with something sharp. You try to remember the shape and escape before anyone arrives. Uh, let's see. Quick thinking, perception, knowledge. Let's go for quick thinking. And then, uh, higher, do I want a higher charisma or do I want higher strength? Let's just do perception, quick thinking and perception, right? Why not? No, we don't need that. We don't need that much high. We don't need that high perception. We'll do dexterity, increase, well, strength. We'll do our strength. And if we lose, then that's fine. Because we're getting more endings. Take the quick route. 
Strength check failure. Hurt your knee badly. Minus two stam. That's fine. Hmm. What you thought was just a discarded pile of clothes suddenly moves as it stands up. Cloud of white powder is released into the air. Kino go gatherer. Um, clear. What was the order? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, one. I'm just workshopping here how to get the most damage possible. That was a pretty good amount of damage. All right, killed the Kinoko Gatherer. Oh, oops, barely dodging a knife. Cultist Hunter, all right. We're doing fine. Okay. Our reason is doing fine too. I'm not too worried about that. Plus spell. All right. Cauterize. Plus two stamina. Cast that spell. Cauterize. Plus two stamina. Cast that spell. You know, this was gonna be a really good run because we had we had plus doom, but also things to combat it. So we'll probably just have to rerun with this backstory, but it's fine. Bad time to be out of cash, buddy. Jar of blood. Two funds, thanks, pal. All right, uh, tap into his power. Cool, invisibility. Until the end of the current mystery, there is no doom penalty from escaping combat. That's pretty good. I don't need it on this one, but. Whoa, oops, click through that. I think we already fought one of these though in the past. Oh, missed. How did I miss every attack? Oh my God, she must be cracked with her dodging. She's literally made out of tree and yet she's dodging all of my attacks. There will be more more attempts at this. Investigate it. Some rustling behind a bush. Run. Dexterity check failure. Great. Plus injury. Tiny cuts, no effect. Thank God. Rumored witch house. Peek inside. Pour acid inside. Finally. You open the can of acid and empty its contents into the well. The house's foundation shakes as the massive creature's eye burns. Walls begin to collapse as you pass out from the toxic fumes. You wake up later with the cassettes in your trembling hand. Witch's house is nowhere to be seen. Forest tapes. Seemingly broken, but maybe you can find a way to repair them. Who could help me with that? I wonder. Yeah, there's zero chance we'll make it out of this, in this set of <laughs> mysteries with that, but that's fine. Well, hmm. we can do the violent vigil pretty quickly. Let's see. I don't think we're going to succeed in this one because I think we're going to hit our doom cap, but I'm so fucked. <laughs> Explore the mansion. I'll have to talk to the people. Wow, brutal. Uh, dilapidated corridor, get the vigil pamphlet. Clap, 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 bow. Master bedroom, clap, 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 bow. Inspect that foot. Dilapidated corridor, explore mansion. Watch the stone. Minus two stamina. That's a bummer. Light the fireplace. Minus one stamina. Never mind. I guess we're fucked. Or the mansion. You feel watched. Retreat. 
study. Master bedroom, he's gone. Storage room. Grab the thingy. Meat cleaver, cool. Not that useful. Uh, master bedroom, dilapidated corridor, explorer mansion. Rumu ghost. Oh, great. Guess we're just gonna wait for that. Pick up the sewing machine. Perception check success. All right, third eye. You uncover some of the secrets of the sleeping god. Yay. Uh, outdoorsman. Stamina, no, luck. We're gonna, we're gonna fail here anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Following a week, wavering cry, you enter a dark room inside. You spot a figure hunched in the corner. You recognize the expensive clothes, but this can't possibly be human. Don't look at me, Akane. Load. Resolve event. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes. We have this encounter. Where are you? Explore mansion. Can't do anything. Have to sacrifice him. Can't do anything. Just let it run out. All right. I am going to be horrifically shocked if we manage to make it through. I don't think it's going to happen this run. <laughs> That's fine. It's my fault. Uh, start a new mystery. We did get an ending, though, to one of those other things. So investigate this mystery. You know what? Let's just let the Doom counter do its thing. Rest. 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 Oh no. Under the mysterious at the Elasith's influence, the city is engulfed in chaos. All the eldritch magic made her planted a bright waypoint for the bloated old god. All right, cool. Didn't unlock any new achievements, but we did encounter seven new enemies. Wait, how did we not unlock any more achievements if we got new endings? That's wild. Okay, well that's a bummer. Um, hmm. We probably need to beat the game with these backstories. So, that's something to explore, I think. All right. Um, yeah, we'll just Do we want to play with another palette? I do like this palette. I I've been keeping it to palettes that like give Sandals his red jacket, but We do this one, it's kind of faded, full color. I like this one. All right. All right, let's finish this playthrough. Item statistics randomization, costs and statistics of all items and stories stay the same through every playthrough. Would we want to edit this? Why would we want to edit this? When leveling up, the game will only draw generic and character exclusive perk cards. I don't know. Does that make a difference? Draw random unlocked perk cards. Yeah, that sounds fine. That's whatever. Continue. All right, let's do Athelazith again. All right, library notes. Skin removal, skin removal. I, so I got two of the same skill. Okay. That seems useless. I guess I can always forget one for a thing. Right? Backpack. Equip until we have something better. Um, occult shop. Definitely want that. Forest. Witch's tree, please. Thank you. Illegal den. Yes. Save. Confirm. Someone has crammed a mail your mailbox full of animal entrails. Why would you do this? Empty bottle. It's a nice day outside. I'm not gonna fill it with our gamer girl bathwater. Instead, I'm gonna warm water EXP boost for our first first one. 
All right, let's look at our mysteries again. Beckoning Bulletin, Abnormal Arms, Moonlight Sailors, Violent Vigil, Freakish Fable of Frightening Flood. Hey, these are all ones that we only have a single ending for. Hell yeah, we got a good roll at the start here. This is great. Which one do we want to do first? The new one, Freakish Fable of a Frightening Flood? Before I do anything, I want to do one that I know I'll be able to, to go to the store on. So let's do Alarming Account of Abnormal Arms. This will also give us a tiny key. Alarming Account of Abnormal Arms. I don't remember when it started. The woman next door was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found and the apartment remained vacant. I'm wondering what we need to do to get the other ending of this one. Uh, but first things first, downtown occult shop. Ritual dagger, got the first thing we wanted. Let's go. Okay. And now we'll go to this shop. Compass, we got the other thing we wanted. Yes. All right, we are set up for success at 11% doom off the start. This is not bad at all. Uh, investigate the hospital, complete this uh, twice to complete this quest. We can do that. All right. Um, perfect opportunity to ask about recent unearthly events. Ask about them. Her stories about missing patients, mysterious surgeries, and strange infection are helpful, but they kill the mood. You must leave this place. All right. Investigate the hospital again. It's a bad time to be out of cash, bud. Whatever, dude. Give me a jar of blood. Give me my cash. Minus one reason. That's fine. All right, the door to her apartment was closed and she lived alone. What other ways in are there? Maybe you can get the apartment plan to compare with other flats. When you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Realize what's happening. Perception check success, show your wallet. All right, the apartment is on the third floor. There's no way somebody used the window to escape the murder scene. Investigate, oh, apartments. Hey, I'm really busy today. Let's hang out some other time. Fucking Kana, join me, goddammit. Uh, investigate apartments. Our master is coming so we can all bask in its glory. Magician glitched. One, two, three. Or probably not. Hold on. If I don't, if I don't do this, I can fit another one in, right? Up. Save. Plus two doom. That's a pretty easy encounter. God damn it. There we go. We're already past the doom quota for this mission, so that sucks. Kind of fucked there. Notice odd placement of ventilation shafts. They seem too small for anyone to crawl through, though. So yeah, this, this mission is is clearly inspired by um, an X Files uh, set of episodes, and the, the villain Adrian Toomes, I think is his name. He is a uh, a man who can fit, he can like squeeze himself into small spaces. Uh, very cool, very good episode, very good villain. Kettle says, like, is he short? No, he, he can literally just squeeze into things. Like, he has a weird, jellified set of bones and joints and stuff, so he can squeeze into tight spaces. Friend has asked you to meet them at a certain secluded location. Plus 3% doom. Uh, let's see, investigate apartments. You should interview the neighbors. Maybe you'll discover something that they missed. People point and talk at the man on the other side of the street. He looks confused, muttering to himself, while occasionally touching a festering wound on his cheek. You stop in your tracks and listen to the man's cursed incantation. Grow teeth. It's not terrible. Probably won't ever use it. We'll save it in case we ever need to just farm reason really quickly. Um, all right, what, what do we need? What would I need to beat this? One neighbor is complaining about her missing underwear. Wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine, you don't recognize the brands of sodas, we get the cheapest one. 
It's scary to check. You buy a can of off-brand soda, and when you reach for it, something inside the machine catches your hand. You have to jerk your hand out, injuring yourself. Exposed ribs. Oh my god. Ouchie. All right. Uh. We're gonna fix that right away. Well, hold on. Funds to items from the illegal den. Let's check this really quick. So this is just another shop. That's all this is. Exit without buying anything. Okay. Uh, hospital, enter, doctor's office, exposed ribs, heal. But hasty aid, come on. Bad time to be out of money, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I hate that event. You should only be able to get that once per encounter. This is annoying. Ugh. Oh. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm lost. I have no idea what the solution to this one is. Do I need like a fire ax to chop the arm off or something? I've got the tiny key though, so that's helpful. All right, how much doom did that decrease that by? Not that much. You've lost the hunting cultist for now, minus one. So I lose 5% doom instead of just four. Got it. Bonus experience gained for completing a mystery. And what do we want to increase strength? Because I have the vicious vigil and I want to be able to solve that problem. I'll do that one later. Rose getting out of town, find a different way. Mansion, blah, blah, blah. Increases our damage. All right. Fill the empty bottle with water. Bottle water, use. All right, what do we want? Do we want to increase our reason? We should probably just increase our stamina this time because we can increase our, our reason by killing with a ritual dagger, so. Not too bad. All right, start a new mystery. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. We might really need to heal ourselves after this, so this is a good one to do now. As the decades roll on, technology has only developed further. These days, computer bulletin board software allows computers to communicate over phone lines. All it takes is a computer and a modem, or, and anybody can connect to the bulletin system or even host one of their own. Once you connect, you can read all the messages on that bulletin and even post your own to start a conversation. Many use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics, everything from video games to sports to idol culture. But in the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, things aren't all fun and games. Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What is behind the suicides? How could so many people be driven to take their own lives? Wandering through the woods, try to decipher the signs, knowledge check success. Nice. Follow a faint sound to a telephone line pole. The moment you notice the giant hairy balls underneath it, they start to twitch and rise. Hairy balls, Tatoru. We went to the pole and we found the balls. After searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching a note. Forest note. Just listen to the voice of humanity. The sacrifice is worth it. Alright, that's going well. Do the school. Getting access to the student database would certainly speed up your investigation. Talk to the lady, charisma check failure. Weren't able to convince the receptionist to let you access the database. It's been a waste of time. It's a bummer. School's library computer doesn't have a modem. You happen to bump into the member of the computer club. Thanking her, you arrange to meet her at her home in the city. Sure. I'll take it. You enter the metro car. Let's see. Uh, examine the package. Dexterity check failure. Minus two reason. That's a bummer. Really busy. Of course she is. She's dodging me. All right. You lug the cardboard box full of PC parts up to your apartment. Stairs. Teeth clenches. You heave it up one step at a time. God damn, her computer's heavy. 
The investigation is starting to take a toll on you, plus four doom. Wipe the sweat from your brow as you finally finish setting up the computer. Uh, worse, the morbid trend is beginning to catch on in other nearby towns. You need to act quickly. Passing by a faulty elevator, its door suddenly open. You take a step, noticing a weird tall woman standing in the darkness. Do you live here? I've never seen you. Oh my god, I missed so many attacks. All right. All right, that seems to be better. Doing it that way. All right, uh, hoping to find a lead, you head to the hospital. With how many deaths there have been, the hospital's in chaos, the staff looks exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down onto the desk, for a minute, you slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridors. We are not gonna let her sleep. We are going to set fire again. Oh, we don't have to. You find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thought remains, lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary where doctors determine causes of death. Uh, check out the freezer. You take a peek into the freezer, but can't see anything important. You wonder what that smell could so, what could smell so awful if there's nothing inside. Nearby, the body in the d dissection table twitches slightly. Prepare for combat. The horror of countless autopsies stands before you. Jane Doe. This is a cool enemy. Oh God, is she a ghost? Yeah, I, so, uh, what is this? Sever their ties to the world. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. You overhear two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently, she's recovering at her grandparents' home in the village in the city outskirts. All right. You exit the hospital and make your way to the nearest bus stop. Imagine missing the attack that many times in a row. Couldn't be me. As you pull into the village bus stop, a news story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa students leapt in front of a train hand in hand. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin searching down the village streets. Oh no, Dark Forces scheme against me. I have the suicidal curse? Are you kidding me? That sucks. All right, investigate village again. We'll go to her house, and I guess we'll fight the voice of reason. Magician glitched. All right. Uh, I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? She says... Old man stops you and invites you in to his house. You fall reluctantly, only to be amazed. Don't worry about payment. I'm sure we'll work it out in the future. Um, decline. Minus one stamina. You don't decline me, you fool. He shouts as you flee the house. The old man throws his books at you, and one of them hits you in the head. This is Nishra from Fear and Hunger. Crusty old man. All right. Welcome. Did you like it so far? Yes? No? It's okay. You don't have to be ready yet. Everyone will wait for you. Your connection suddenly cuts off. When you attempt to reconnect, you find that your number has been blocked by the accessing the bulletin. Dejected, you solemnly pack up the computer to give it back. However, when you arrive back at the computer lab, you find a note. See you all soon. Minus three reason, plus 5% doom, three funds. You CERN... Yeah, you soon learn that the club's members leapt in front of the train, holding hands. With little other choice, you sell off the computer, the guilt weighing on you all the same. All right, we'll probably lose. You find the bulletin bu uh, bulletin's number in the phone book, but when you arrive at the address, place is empty. We got ending C this time, though. Yay. So minus 5% doom, we're under 60%. Pretty good. 50 experience. Mass level up, which is good. Old God stirs. Lighthouse gets an additional floor. That's really not that big of a deal. All right, let's look at our level up. Outdoorsman, signed contract, folklore studies. Let's do outdoorsman. Getting higher luck is really good. Uh, strength up as well to try and increase our chance at getting firewood. All right. Um, my home. 
bath water fill empty bottle with water extra stamina regained use the empty bottle to get some more stamina back because we're stamina is dangerous for us all right uh we can definitely do violent vigil next all right this one's going to be simple we just have to pass that that check again check out the mask kendo helmet that seems pretty good um do i want to wear that yes hold on send to storage equip that backpack trade in for funds tiny key will keep library notes uh hold on we can discard Forget this spell, forget this spell, forget this spell. Library notes, use, minus two reason, that's fine. Check our spells, void. Ignore a current event and instantly investigate a random other world location. Cost three reason, we'll hold on to that later. All right, talk to that person, Akane is here. All right. For the mansion, see what's his name's room. Suddenly, a window behind you breaks with a bang. Startled, you notice a masked man hunting rifle in his hand. Silent and calm, he loads another bullet. Cultist Hunter B. This guy's dangerous. So close to killing him in one hit. Or one turn. Hunting rifle! Oh, that's a lot of damage. Damage when shot, 32. Oh my god. Um, That's wild. Should I just equip this? Or do, do I have... Do I have special bullets? What do I, do I have a limited amount of bullets? I don't have time to change equipment, that's fine. Um, ritual dagger's important for keeping our sanity up. Dilapidated corridor. Oh fuck. That's added to storage. I should have thrown something away. Why are the fucking library notes in my inventory? I don't know what to do now. We're failing this. Ah. You think you got the order right? Hell yeah. Nope. Um, bow, bow, clap, bow. Fuck. Well, that was a huge waste of our time. God damn it. Ah! Pillar vampire. Cool. We finally lit up the fireplace. God damn it. Bow, bow, clap, bow. Did you get the order right? I The thing did appear on there, so. Bow, clap, bow, clap. Nope. Start with the shelves. Perception check failure. Books are covered with a thick layer of dust. They seem rare, but cover mundane topics. All right, let's try this hunting rifle. I do want the ritual dagger. I think I'm just gonna keep it on. Master bedroom, corpse is gone. Of course it is, explore the mansion. Uh, gain a spell, book of gore, cool. Mansion. Extra reason there, right into the cupboard, success, plus one item, went to storage, or the mansion, minus two reason. Stumbleton Sodomura furiously scratching his scar. With each motion, he gets a little deeper. With each motion, more blood appears. With each motion, he takes a step towards you. The itching won't stop. Bye. All right, leadership. Probably is what we want, or reporter's bag. Doesn't really matter now. Uh, leadership up, charisma up, just to increase our chances there. Sacrifice, leave, continue, continue. 
All right, again, got the wrong one. It's fine. We're only at 70% doom, which isn't too bad. Key. some more stamina so we can save on uh, doom stuff that we need to do I doubt we're gonna be able to finish both of these so let's finish freakish fable a group of researchers from the University in Tokyo are researching a curious rock formation it was discovered a few weeks ago by tourists in a village next to Shiokawa we've read about it in a newspaper the sudden disappearance of the tourists uh, was the subject of school gossip for a few days but ultimately no one was found the rock formation must be somehow connected to the events happening in your town. Feeling that the researchers can help you, you decide to pack yourself and visit... To pack yourself and visit the village yourself. Weird. Oh, it's, a, it's one of these. Okay. Neglected bus stop. Kaibara Village, the final stop. The bus suddenly stops as the driver opens the door. Sea Rose Village, Kaibara. Umibara, Kaibara, Outside Rose Village. I'm not sure. But it's... I wouldn't be able to tell what it is without seeing the kanji. Reluctantly, you notice you're still far away from the village itself. However, before you can ask any questions, the bus doors close. As the old bus drives away, you see the village in the distance. Hoping it won't rain too much, you stop to look at the clouds. Suddenly, you hear splashing sounds behind you. That's strange. You thought you were the only passenger on that bus. Sweaty assailant. All right. Goal, reach the inn. Investigate the curious rock formation. Did the weather scare them off? The carved pillars are older than the village itself and you couldn't find any information about them or the rituals they're connected with. Anything else to click on around here? Nope. Managed to feed the mysterious assailant, but he flees into the woods before you can tear his mask off. Who was it? You enter the inn, hoping you will find research team there. Every room is empty except one. In the last one, you find a visibly stressed man, Matsuda-san, the expedition leader. Thank God you came. We've been attacked by villagers and got separated. I'm worried for my colleagues things we've learned here, the knowledge, it's too dangerous. We must escape this place as soon as possible. Matsuda-san gulps and looks out the window before continuing. Last time I saw my team was at the school. We used an empty classroom to keep our research notes and equipment. You should look there for clues. Remember, we must flee before the river level gets too high or else. Sure. Break into the school. Neat. Find an old trophy case. Open the cabinet. Got a goblet. So we have two things now. Constantly cold to the touch. It looks ancient. What's it doing in the school? Managed to find an empty classroom Matsuda-san was talking about. Researchers are gone, but hopefully the notes you found will help you locate them. Explore the forest. Suspicious group you've been following is gathered. Attempt to climb it. Strength check failure. Go figure. For the forest. Friend has asked you. Okay, we got experience for that, which is good. Folklore studies. Increase our knowledge. Or uh, reporter's bag for an extra inventory slot. Let's just do knowledge. And then, um, I don't know. Get our dexterity up again. Get our strength up. We just want to get our knowledge up too. Actually, that might be good. We might be able to fit another attack in. Curious to check it out. Plus 3% doom. Managed to find one of the researchers, Kaori Yuto, a linguist. Fallen trail, prey, perception check success, plus five experience. What is our current goal? Rescue the team or escape. Let's keep exploring the forest, I guess. Barely dodging a knife swing, you fall to the ground. Short-haired woman giggles and takes a step back. You can't run from us. You can run from us, but you can't hide, friend. Almost enough. All right, so it will be... Yep. Pretty good. Sakina Okada is at the school. Hiroki Shino, uh, Shinohei is in the village. 
Reed Scochan was the most promising athlete in her school. When she suddenly disappeared, the case was quickly closed without any suspects. Today, she's finally dug herself out. Cool. How much time do I have? Check out the lockers, plus two funds. Managed to find Sakina Okada. Goal, escape. This is all we can do. All right, escape the village. We're blocked. The villagers have disappeared. Where are they? As you get closer to the bridge leading out of the village, Matsuda-san suddenly stops. I know this tune. Before you can react, he begins to undress and runs into the darkness. Shocked, you begin to hear the faint moaning coming from the rock formation. When you see there, it feels unreal. All the villagers are naked. They're dancing around the pillars as something slowly emerges from the river. The fertility goddess. Okay, so this is like the, uh, the, <laughs> the, whatever it's called. Uh, what's the name of that? The Wicker Man. That's what it was. You've defeated Chikthura. The Eldritch Monster disappears as suddenly as it appeared. All that's left of Kaibara Village is a group of deeply confused villagers. Sadly, it's too late for Matsuda-san. The research team has parked their jeep on a hill that wasn't affected by the flood. They drive you back to Shiokawa and promise that they will alert the university. You can only hope that help will arrive in time. A. All right, it's gonna be a little tough to get stuff, but to, to pass this, I think, but I think we'll be okay. Water levels slowly increase. Exploring seaside is a chance of inflicting the drenched status. Small key in my mailbox. Let's see if we can pass this this one because it's gonna be tough, I think. Gamer girl bath water. Can I fill? I can't fill the goblet. That's fine. Hold. I don't need reason, just stamina. That. Oh, what? Did that hurt me? That was weird. Oh no, it didn't. All right, uh, here we go. Which mystery do we have left? Sorrowful Saga of the Moonlit Sailors. Investigate this mystery. Discard two item cards to complete this request. Okay. This is easy. Can't discard this one. Okay, never mind. Forest note. Send to storage. Meat cleaver. Guard. Uh, sewing kit. Hard. Find a huge pile of nets and hooks prepare for the big hunt. You quickly throw them into the ocean. Maybe they'll stop them from sailing out. Cool. All right. Investigate downtown. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away. Help your friend. Plus five experience. Find another letter behind a wardrobe. It explains the reason for your friend left was the shadow people were stalking him. So we've got an extra 5% experience. Good for us. Investigate downtown. Although you have a brave the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact that the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. Bolt members are on my trail. Investigate the mansion. When you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. God, our doom is increasing really quickly. You feel watched, retreat, as to reason. We'll actually be fine, I think. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush. Before you can do anything, they twitch and move. Kinoko, or no, man-eating plant, neat. Seaside, all right. Surely someone else must have caught onto one of these. 4% doom, two reason. That really sucks, I think we're fucked. Fight your best efforts, location, blah, blah, blah. Increase the doom. Town stocks are a mix. Right at the temple, plus two reason. Investigate the beach. Full moon shri shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink black ocean waves glimmer eerily. You do this. Terif uh, it's not the sailors. The black beings must have left their bodies. Shocked, you watch them sail their way out of the harbor. You're terrified at their power, but relieved that they did not drag their meat puppets with them. 
Neat. So minus 5% doom total, 50 experience, 65 experience for us. Sick deal. All right, we can hopefully finish this now. Um, sure, we'll take the reporter's bag. And then do we even want to increase stamina? I don't think we need to. We'll try... Charisma probably won't help us. Let's increase our dexterity. Plus 5% doom. Are you fucking kidding me? Right after we get the decrease in doom? Ugh. That's so irritating. Spell evil. Minus 6% doom. Damn straight we're gonna cast that. Uh, all right. Uh, Bathwater. 13. All right, cool. Go investigate the mystery. Lighthouse. Enter lighthouse. We're not gonna be able to rest this time. We'll just have to climb the stairs. It's never really that threatening going up here anyway, so I'm not that scared of it, but. Disconnect the faulty plug, strength check failure. It's okay. Hopefully no encounters. Fuck, the rules have changed, kiddo. He says taking off his jacket. Let's just kill him. Stopped by a girl, tried to reason with her. Minus two reason, that's fine. Okay, hold on. Second mystery we investigated was the bulletin, I think. Because I think I did, no, it was the arms. The bulletin was the first one we did. Bulletin, arms, vigil, freakish fable. Wait, what? Oh no. We're fucked. Find a switch, continue climbing. God damn it. Did I, can't believe I did them in the wrong order. Well, that run was a bust. <laughs>